Michael. <laughs> Mr. Feeney, can I crash at your place tonight? No. <laughs> Why? I'm gonna fight with Jack about his girlfriend. Same old story. I'm sure you heard it a thousand times. She's a witch, she talks to the devil, and apparently I'm standing between her and the doorway to hell. <laughs> You're definitely not sleeping here. <laughs> no. But of all the nights to fight, I mean, Halloween. This is the one holiday that's supposed to bring loved ones together. <laughs> Yes, well, I'm sure your friendship is strong enough that you'll endure a little argument. Now, friends aren't supposed to let girls come between them. Mm. But Jack has made it perfectly clear that I'm just his roommate. I, I don't know why I'm letting this bug me. Well, if he was just your roommate, you wouldn't be out here talking to me. Now, Eric, just uh, think of some way to get him to hear you. Hmm? You didn't even break a sweat on this one. <laughs> I hate to see people fight on the only holiday that brings loved ones together. <laughs> Merry Halloween, Mr. Feeney. <laughs> Feeney! Hello! Hi! It's me, Corey. Happy Halloween. Listen, I need your help. I'm sure you do. <laughs> no, no, I need you to look up someone named Dexter Jorgensen in your school records. Mr. Matthews, those files are personal and confidential. Why do you ask? He's my pilot. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't get on that plane. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Finney. I love you very much. I'm sure you'll be fine, Corey. I lost him. Topanga. Oh, no, Topanga, I've lost you, too. No, Corey, I'm right here. What are you doing? Well, Dexter heard that this was my first time flying and that I was afraid, and unlike you, he cared. So he asked me to come up here and face my fears, and now I'm flying the plane. Dexter? Yes, my co-pilot? Is it all right if I see what this bird can do? Go for it. Jack, chant. Just open your soul and let the spirit take you to the place where darkness reigns. <laughs> Can't we just buff raffles? <laughs> okay, I want to thank whoever provided the shrouds. Mine's a little snug. Anyone want to trade a medium for a large? I love Halloween! How come everyone's wearing the same costume? It's not a costume. I'm staying. Oh, can we try that one over again because I wasn't ready? Three, two, one. Oh, all right, now we're wailing. Party! Oh, hey, you and the shroud, get the door. <laughs> one for the little pirate, one for the little mermaid. Oh, and a little witch. You don't get any because you mock us. <laughs> it's time. Oh. I want to break up. I'm not Millie. I'm Ushkar, queen of malevolence, daughter of evil. Ushkar, I want to break up. It is time for the sacred light beam. Sean, we're in trouble here. Hey, no, Jack, have some fun. It's a Halloween party. Okay, this part sucks. He's right. You lied to us and you turn us against each other. Why? We needed your apartment, you fool. From this exact spot, your balcony. Once in a thousand years, Valaris will come into alignment and Satan's tail will appear, sending a light beam through the crystal of death, ensuring our immortality and obliterating you. Sean, <laughs> what? It started to get fun again. It is written that in this very spot on this very night, a hunter will be sacrificed. Two hunters are even sweeter. <laughs> How about two hunters and a Matthews? Eric, you've come to save us. He wouldn't know how to save you. Oh, yeah? Went to the bookstore last night. Take this up. The bridges of Madison County? <laughs> uh, and this. Witchcraft for dumbbells. Yep, think they mentioned a counterspell in here somewhere. It's too late. It's time for the sacrificial beam. Yep, just hold on a second there, Ishtar. Prepare to die the death of a Ha, here it is. <laughs> That's impossible. The light beam hit you and you're alive. Yep, sunscreen, SPF 45. Plus a little zinc oxide on my bum. <laughs> Maybe next time, Satan. Sorry, guys. Oh. Yeah, it's a shame. Shut up. Come on. Everybody out. Spread. Satan's children, be gone with you all. Come on. It's too bad. You're cute. You're sweet. You'd have been the perfect sacrifice. I appreciate that. Hey, Millie. <laughs> You know, 
It's a shame you didn't fall for me. Could have been good. <laughs> Eric, I saw that light beam. Was that real? Jack, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> there are some things just too big for our puny heads to comprehend. <laughs> well, it's still Halloween. I'm gonna go find another party. Come on, Jack. Eric, right, wait. Even after all the rotten things I've said to you, you're still gonna invite me to come along? Of course, man. You're my friend. Uh, I know that now. I'm a pretty lucky guy, man. I'm buying. Yo, you better. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Halloween. Really brings people together. I love this balcony. You do? Yeah, it's got a great view of the river. And you can see that guy watching TV in his underwear. I've seen him. <laughs> I was actually just wondering if seeing Valaris did anything for you. Is that his name? Why are you so nervous? I'm sorry, Sabrina. <laughs> My buddy just came off kind of a spooky relationship. He was, he was dating a, uh... Oh, well, I'll, I'll just say it. He was dating a witch. What's so spooky about that? <laughs> so, what's next? I don't know. I figure maybe we'll go get a bite to eat. Is that good? All right, cool. Hey, Sean! Wants to pick you up something, man? No, thanks. I'm feeling a little bloated. See you, Sean. You gotta love Halloween. <laughs>